Hello, in this session, I'll talk about percentages. Right, there is a company in the year 2009, it made a profit of $5 million. In the year, the next, the following year, 2010, it makes a profit of $8 million. Question, what is the percentage increase? So the way to do it is first to calculate the increase from 5 to 8. So the increase is um, 8 minus 5, which is 3 million. All right. And think of this or calculate this or express this however you say it as a fraction of the starting amount, the, the initial profit, which is fine. So I want to find this 3 million as a, a fraction of the 5 million. The way to do this is to take the 3 million, divide by 5 million, multiply by 100%. So that's always how we calculate percentage. All right, we take the fraction and multiply by 100. So if I have 3 million divided by 5 million, that's a rather odd fraction. What do I do with the million? Do I cancel out the million? Well, um, we could, we can think about the million as kind of a unit. Now to be very clear, 3 million is really 3 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. 5 million is 5 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So that's really what our fraction is. And you know fractions with zeros, you can cancel all the zeros. Now as always, I'm, I want to emphasize that when you're cancelling, you're really dividing. It's just a quick way to shorthand notation for dividing. Uh, the same numbers. So I'm really dividing the top and bottom by 1 million. That's why all the zeros get cancelled out. So I have 3 over 5, actually. And 3 over 5 times 100, 3 fifths over 100 is, um, is 60. So the answer is 60%. So there is a 60% increase in the profit. That's the answer to this question. Next question, there is another company right, in the year 2008, it has an income of 20 million, I'll just use the little m to mean million, i better use a big m, that's usually the case. M here just stands for million, right? And in 2009, let's see, the profit dropped by 10%. Okay. In, um, oh, 2009. So, nine there. And in 2010, the profit then went up 15% from the previous year. Okay, 15% from 2009, just to be very clear. Question, what is the profit in the year 2000? And 10. So let's start with 2008. That was 20 million. 
So we can um, just make things simple. Just think of think of this amount of money in units of million. So let's just remember that the million is, is a unit. So for my calculation, I can put that million aside. I can put it back at the end of the uh, uh, for the answer. So that, let me just think of the amount as 20 in units of million dollars. So in the beginning, this is the money, 20. And then in the following year, it dropped by 10%. If it dropped by 10%, um, that means that if you think of the starting as 100%, then when it dropped by 10%, that means it becomes 90%. So that means in the following year, it is 90%. It is 90 over 100 of the 20, of the 20 million. So that this, this is amount in the year 2009. Okay? Now, from this amount, all right, then after one more year, 2010, the profit, there is an increase in profit. There is this uh, income okay, of 15 percent. So this is the, the income, the profit in the year 2009, and then in the following year, the, it is a 15% of this. So that means that we must now think of this new uh, uh, answer from 2009 as 100%. So this is our new 100%, and there's an increase of 15% from that. That means 100% um, increased by 15%, that gives 115%. So therefore, the new amount should be this times 115%. So that's 115 divided by 100. So that's how we do this. Okay, so this, this will be the, the answer for the year 2000 uh, after we, we have calculated it. So when we calculate this, um, okay, I shall not try to do it by hand, you can do it by calculator. So just press this in your calculator, calculate an answer, and whatever you get, that's in millions. Okay, so that's how we do it for this question. Next, we will take a look at standard form. <clears throat> now, suppose that there are 40 billion locusts. Locusts are insects that eats up all the crops, all the plants that the farmers try to grow. So suppose that there are 40 billion of these terrible insects. Um, the question is, write this number, this 40 billion, in standard form. Now standard form means something times 100 to the power of something. That, that power must be a whole number. Okay, that power must be a whole number. Um, and this number, let me write this out, a whole number. And that number um, must be a number that is less than 10 and it can be one or it must be more than one. Or it's one or more, but it must be less than 10. So that's what we mean by standard form. This must be more than or equal to one, it must be less than 10. All right, so in standard form, let's take a look. Now first, we must 
write out the billion as a number. So you know what is we know that thousand has three zeros, a million has six zeros, so billion has nine zeros. It's fourteen and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Forty billion. So that so each zero Think of it as a factor of 10. So this gives 4 times 10 to the power of 9, uh, to the power of 10, because they're all together 10 zeros. Okay, so 10 to the power of 10 gives a 10 zero, and the 4 gives a factor of 4. So this is already in the standard form. Right? It is always important to check uh, that it, it agrees with these simple requirements. Uh, which is that the power must be a whole number that's usually um, the easy bit now we must also check that that number this that, that factor in front must be one or more but it must be less than 10 okay so it cannot be a, a, a say a decimal that's less than one or it cannot be a number that's more than 10 so this is now in the standard form and that's our answer for this question Part. Now suppose that each of these locusts eats 2 grams of food per day. So 2 grams of food per day. <coughs> now we, we want to find how much food they eat per week. We want to find it in kilograms. Question mark, how many kilograms of food do all of them eat per week? So this is 2 grams per day each. We want to find how many kilograms per week for all. So that's the question, right. So let me start, let me write down the previous answer again. I had 4 times 10 to the power of 10 as the total number of locusts. Alright, now each of these locusts eats 2 grams per day. So, um, let's see. The tricky bit is I must somehow change the day to the week and the gram to the kilogram and the each to the all. So let's do this step by step. Let's start from the each. Okay, so each will do this in one day. So in one day, how much does each of them eat? Right, so if one eats two grams, four times ten to the power of ten locus eats that number times two grams. That's it. Just multiplying. So this is for one day for one locus, uh, for, for all locus. And it's in grams, right? This is for one day. Now let's go to the week. So if this is what all the locus eats in one day, in one week, one week has seven days. You have to time seven to give the amount they eat in a week. Alright, so we have taken care of the change from each to all and the change from day to week. Now, we need to worry about the change from grams to kilograms. So this is the amount in grams, right? because we started from the grams. To change from grams to kilogram, okay, let's do this carefully. Now I know that one gram is 1 over 1,000 of a kilogram. Right, so therefore, if this is in gram, and I want to change it to kilogram, I must multiply by 1 over 1,000. So that's what I need. 
to find the final answer. All I need is to calculate this and I would have the answer to how many kilograms per week for all locusts. So let's do that. Now when we are dealing with um, standard forms, there's always a number times 10 to the power of something. So what we have here, we already have some uh, some of these factors in, in the form 10 to the power of something. That's this one and this one. Now the 1 over 1000, to make things easy, let's, let's combine, multiply the, this to first. So 1 over 1000 is really um, 10 to the power of minus 3. Right, let's do it this way. 10 to the power of 10 means 10 multiplied by itself 10 times. So there are 10 factors of 10 down here. Now, so we end up with a number with, uh, say, 10 zeros. But in this case, we need to divide by 1,000. 1,000 is 3 factors of 10. Okay, so that's actually 1 over 10 cubed, if you like. So there are 3 factors of 10 here. So I must, from the 10 factors of 10, I have to take away 3 factors of 10. So I have to take away, uh, the, uh, so the 10 becomes 7. Okay, that takes away the 3 factors of 10. So 10 to the power of 10 becomes 10 to the power of 7 when we divide by 1000. Then I have all these other numbers that I must multiply together. 4, 2 and 7. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 56 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, that's looking like a standard form, but it is not a standard form yet. Although it has the 10 to the power of a whole number like that, that number in front, that factor in front is 56, which is more than 10. Right? In standard form, it has to be less than 10. Now, the way to um, convert that is to divide that number by 10. But we can't just divide it because that, that, that changes the answer. So when we divide that number by 10, we have to multiply by 10 as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that by 10 because I want, want that to become smaller, uh, become less than 10. But I must multiply by 10 as well so that the overall answer is the same. But so whereas when I multiply, divide that by 10, okay, I get 5.6. When I multiply by 10, I must multiply the 10 by that factor. Right? Of course, there's no point multiplying it back to the 5.6. So I have 10 to the power of 7 times 10. So that gives an additional factor of 10. So the power of 7 becomes 8. 10 to the power of 8. And remembering that we have um, multiplied by this conversion factor to a kilogram, the, the um, answer is now in kilograms. So this is the number of kilograms per um, in one week that all the locusts eat. We'll stop here.